up to the entrance of Wajomi Campground. As of 2023, here's the prices. And it's full hookup. Don't tell anyone. It's an awesome price for a um, California park. But you'll check in here. And check in is at 2 o'clock. And then afterwards, you'll proceed to your campsite and the rangers will come around and check you in. But here is a map, a little boutique campground. So when you enter, you're going to be coming in through this day use area and it's going to look like you're not even entering a campground. It's going to be look like you're entering a day use area, but you actually pass through the day use area and you come up into here. Just keep that in mind. You are on the right road if you look like you're coming into a day use picnic area. So all of this park area is day use down in here. And then this is the campground area. And the whole park is gated at night, which is nice. They have little dog bags set up for you. And waste receptacles there. And then this facility here is a campground pavilion. So I suppose if you had a group here, and you needed a place for activities. It's actually a pretty nice pavilion inside. You can screenshot that if you want. But coming down, this is campsite number one. And again, they are all full hookups, picnic table, fire ring, 50 and 30 amp. This is number two on the left. So these sides you get a peekaboo view of the lake and the park area. And there's trails all around the lake down here. Number three. And number four. I'm across from site number four right here, right here. And if you were to take this road, which we'll do now, we'll walk down here, you'll come to some recreational areas. This down here to the right will take you down to the lake and around the lake into the park area. We'll check out this first. They have benches, picnic tables, um, garbage receptacles, there's um, doggy bags all around the lake down here, and like I said, a couple trails, as well as the lake adjoins a marsh, and there's a nature trail through the marsh, which I have not been on yet. But coming up around here, it's an excellent place for the groups to camp because they have activities such as a volleyball court, there's a pickleball court over here, there's all of this place for the kids. And there's actually a fitness facility over here and horseshoe pits. There's horseshoe pits here in front of me. Picnic tables, grills. There is a pickleball court right here. And an outdoor covered gym facility.
coming back out the way we came in and continuing our tour of the campsite area, we'll go to sites 1 to 17, which will be this way. So 18 to 33 is down here. We're going to go 1 to 17 this way. So this is campsite number 5 on the right. A new place, a new home. For a while, let me feel alive. And number six on the right. A lot of these are big rig friendly, so up to 40 feet. Number seven on the left here. There's a walking path down to the lower area. Hello. Hi. Campsite number eight. Number nine. And then number ten here. This is number thirteen on the right. So 11 and 12 are right here. 11 is a nice big site, but directly across from the restrooms. And 12 is also a nice and deep site. So you'd pull in here and then back in on these. Number 12 here. Again, that's 13 in front of us here, right here. And coming around is 14 right here. So directly across, there's a path to the bathroom. 15 on the left. That's 15. 17 on the right, and 16 on the left. 16 is a really short site. I'm not sure why they have it blocked off right now, but it looks like they're working on it. And then again, here's another path down to the lower section, and we'll finish that. Coming up to the top of the campground here, if you made a right, there is an exit out here. There is some um, ranger station facilities right up here and then here is one of the little cabins they rent out and then taking a left we're going to go back towards the entrance and pass by the restrooms as well as the old dump station which is now closed probably due to the fact that they have Put in uh, full hookups at every site. So there's restrooms on the on the property here. A dishwashing station at the restroom facility, and there's parking here. 15 minute parking. There's a little book stand here to take a book and leave a book. And here is the entrance, so you'd be coming in this way or going out that way. The kiosk there where you check in. And then coming down here, I'm going to take you into the restroom. Here's a map of the park. And the bathrooms are coded.
coming down now 18 to 33 and if you're pulling a big rig down through here just keep in mind it's a little bit tight this tree on the left here so um, when I pulled through here it my rig is 37 foot and I just had to watch this area but this is 18 19 right up here is a really deep site rather large site actually so again we're sloping down here we're coming downhill this is the direction you would be driving that's 19 and this is 20 at the bottom of the hill here and right here in front of us is the trail that goes to the lake and to the nature trail around the marsh and then to the trail into the hills coming around the corner here you have a dumpster and site 21 right here which is protected by all of this shrubbery oh, that's a nice deep site and then this is 22 right here So 22 is right up against a path that goes up to the upper section of the campground and 23 is right across from it. And here's 24, all in this area. Here's a big rig here in 25, so this gives you an idea of the size of these sites. Not all of them, but many of them, especially on this outer fringe here. Twenty-six, this lower um, section, the sites are really quite spacious and long. No problem with the big rig. Here's twenty-seven right here. And I'm in 28 here and you can see it's a 37 foot rig and I fit just fine. And 29. 31. Site 30 on the left. And then there's a path here that'll lead you up to the restrooms and to the upper portion of the campground. We have a dumpster here and site 32 here. And then coming around the corner here, site 33. And then this is taking us up to the upper portion of the campground and there's a couple of host sites on the left but all this area out here is hiking trails and running trails biking trails it goes out there into the hills Oh!